Are you getting more CBD than you paid for? Well, that's the question today. I'm going to be reviewing a recent article by the Marketing Mill. Where what they've done is they've taken 10 samples at random and they've sent it off for actual testing to determine the amount of CBD in the product relative to the actual label claim. Now, the one caveat or point I'd like to highlight here is they've used one reference laboratory for the test. However, it would have been great to actually see maybe two or three additional reference laboratories used and normalize the actual results and data across the range so we could get an idea that industry as a whole is able to get the same results for the tests and that there's a degree of proficiency testing between the different labs. We know this has been an issue across the board and it's something that would really drive the development and formalization of the sector. In the marketing mill, the additional thing I noticed here was four of the products were exceeding the 600 milligram tolerance level or maximum dose provided or recommended by SAPRA. So this already tells me that some of these products would definitely be probably from online sources within the South African market. Um, whenever we are dealing with maybe products that are not going over the shelf uh, from clicks or disc game with the 600 milligram cap, we could expect there already to be deviations in terms of the amount of CBD and the standard generally of the product. Um, I would also like to highlight here that Throughout this article, there were some products, uh, not just over the specification, but also with no CBD present. And that I think is really the objective they were going for in this article was to establish, is there a tendency to lie about the results uh, from CBD brands? For the most part, the majority of the products contained CBD and more so than stated. Uh, as stated, I'd love to see these results on more 600 milligram platforms uh, and then those sub values. Um, I will include a link to the article and I think it's an important indication that industry is really pushing to get results out to the to the market. Um, SAPRA has mentioned in October of 2020 that they were going to do a call up in the industry. I'd love to see progress and developments on testing from that standpoint to be compared with this from industry. But let's just hope that industry will continue to push to get results out there to the public so we know what's actually in our products considering this is a scheduled zero medicine.